Terms and Conditions is a song about succeeding on your own terms, not following societal expectation of what success looks like, because what works for other people might not work for you. Hey guys, this is Jasmine Soko. Today we'll be talking about the making of terms and conditions. Terms and conditions is such a dry name to call a song and it's something that people usually associate with the starting page of whatever website that they are going on. I think it's super interesting to be able to give a disclaimer right before the rest of the songs in the EP. And this track is the most random track that I've ever produced. So for instance, whenever I saw a full moon, I would just howl at it. So I kind of threw that into the track. So I try my best to find Another inspiration was that I was watching this particular movie that's from the 70s. It's called Logan's Run. And in that movie, there's a robot villain that's speaking so differently from what I perceive a robot usually speak. But this female robot was speaking in a very humanized way that was still robotic, but very sexy and cool. They keep asking, what are your numbers? Who's your father? So ever since I went to China and I released my very first Mandarin EP, I've been having this identity crisis. I am bilingual, I speak English, I speak Mandarin, but how do I kind of mix that into my music seamlessly? I think there's so much more layers to it. And one way which we explore, like diving deeper into that identity, is to play around with pentatonic sounding harmonies. And in the process of doing so, I was also very fascinated by Chinese instruments. And I put in Erhu into the chorus. Fuck the expectations, I'm not like everyone else. So I live by my own terms and conditions. Stop with the examples, I'm not like everyone else. different instrumentations on top of one another, it kind of brings out a very different feeling. And people might not know which sound it is, but they know that there's something different about it. It's kind of like eating wasabi, horseradish, that kind of food, where you eat but you don't really know how to describe the taste, but you know how it makes you feel. Fuck the expectations, 